Hi lovely people, you are welcome back to my channel. My name is Akuridi Adenike. If this is the first time of you checking on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to tap on the no notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. In today's tutorial, I would like to teach you how to make double puff sleeve. Here is the material that I am using, the satin fabric and here is my basic sleeve. I have a video on how to draft it. I'm going to put the link in the box below. This one is for the double puff. And I have 18 inches in length and the weight is times 3 of my round sleeve. My round sleeve is 13. This is times 3 of it plus 2 inches seam allowance. Let's go into the business. This is my basic sleeve. So I'm going to use this elastic for it. This is the edge of my sleeve now. I'm going to use this elastic. I'm cutting 10 inches because my round sleeve here is 10 inches. Make sure you measure it firm like this. Let it firm. Here yeah, now is 10 inches, so I'm going to cut exact 10 inches of this elastic out. So I'm cutting it out now. This is 10 inches. So I'll go ahead and place it on the fabric, inside the fabric, which is the wrong side of it. I'm going to place it like this. and fold the fabric like this like about one inch inside like this i'm going to stitch here now then i'm going to stitch all through so while stitching i'll be pulling the elastic for me to finish it up till this end i saw it a little but i want to show you how it how it look like for you to understand if you want to sew your own. Here is it. I've sewed a little. To continue sewing now, I'll have to pull it like this. This is what I'm explaining earlier. I'll have to pull it like this. Fold my fabric on it and continue sewing till I reach this place. You have to pull it. You'll be pulling and sewing. Pull it and you have to pull it and fold the fabric like this and sew, but not on the elastic. For it to be easier for you if you want to pull it, it has to be inside it. So let me go and continue. Now I'm done with it. Here is it. Look how beautiful and neat it is. The reason why I can adjust it like this is because the elastic is inside it. I did not sew on the elastic. So, and I finish it up here like this. I stitch on it like this on the elastic here. I started stitching on the elastic here before going to the side and sew it. So, so I love to continue with my double puff now by placing my elastic on it like this and I'm going to sew on the elastic but I will be pulling and sew. Pulling and sew to make it gathers so that to form the double puff. When I stitch a little, I will come and show you how it will look like. You know, I cut 10 inches of the elastic for it, for this edge because I measured this place for the edge here. So the reason why I'm not cutting elastic for this middle is because I used times three of my upper ham round sleeve here. So that's the reason. So I'll just go to my machine now and place it on it like this, pull it, sew on it. Pull it so on it till I reach the hand here. So when I sew a little, I'll come and show you how it look like. Now I've sewed a little on it. So here is it. I pull it like this and I sew on the elastic. See how it gathers itself. That is how I'm going to continue pulling and sew on the elastic till I reach the hand of it. So when I finish that, Note, I did not use 10 inches that I used for this edge. I did not use 10 inches elastic that I used for this edge because I measured 
10 inches here firmly to get this edge. And the middle here, you know, I, I said I use three times of my upper arm round sleeve to get this fabric. Three times of it plus two inches seam allowance. So, so I'll now go and continue pulling and sewing on the middle here. So when I finish that, I'll now use gather stitch for this edge. I'll sew on it with half inch. So when I finish all that, I'll come and show you before proceeding to the next. So I finished stitching on the elastic. Here is it. As you can see, it has gathered. And I've gathered, I've used gather, gather stitch for the edge here. So I'll cut this elastic now. I'll now take one thread out of the two here. Started pulling it to form gathers like this. I'll continue pulling to form gathers. You have to be careful. So, finish with it. I will now take my basic sleeve, place it like this. This is the right side of it. Then, you have to place it. Make sure you adjust it. For it to be accurate with the basic sleeve, adjust it. Yes, it's it. I'll now go and I'll now place it like this. I'll let the right side face each other. And I'll now go and go ahead and sew it with half inch. So when I finish, I'll come and show you. And make sure you always trim all the excess fabric and thread to make your job neat, please. Now I'll finish with it. Here's it. As you can see, it has formed double puff. So I'll now go ahead and stitch the here's the right side of it look how beautiful and nice it is i'll now go ahead and fold it into two like this i'll let the right side face each other and go and stitch it with the side seam which is one inch from the bottom here down to the armpit here so when i finish i'll come and show you now i'm done with it i've stitched it with one inch side seam from the armpit till the down part of it. I'll now turn it to the right side for you to see how it look like. So here is it now. As you can see, it has formed a double puff. So let me put it on for you to see how it's going to be on me. So here is it now. I'm going to put it on like this and I'm going to adjust this place to this place. Now see how beautiful and nice it look on me if you don't want the puff to be big as this one you can reduce the length and as well re reduce the width you can make it times two of your upper round sleeve so as you can see it's very nice and big so guys if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel and if you have any question or any illustration you want us to talk about you can join me on my Facebook group, Details to Sewing, created by Akorede Adenike. I'm on Twitter, at Akorede Adenike. I'm also on Instagram, at Akorede Adenike. Till I see you in my next video, stay blessed, guys. Bye-bye.